Oh, that was it right there. Saved it too at the end. Oh, baby. Ah, <laughs> uh, not enough speed. All right, so I got a call out from Bari Musauer about a dropout challenge going old Panda Thunder drag style with dropout suspension. So I've got my ZEI chassis from Freestyle RC, a Bigfoot body on it. And we're gonna do a little bit of drag racing here in the driveway with our Bigfoot monster truck. So I've set up a real simple setup, the boys and I. We're gonna start here at a standstill try and grease that or just get over it and hit that through the finish line. Simple setup. Just want to see that suspension drop, slow motion, keep it in line, get over that uh, that stack there, um, and uh, have a little fun. Oh. <laughs> Leg came off, body popped off. Well, this thing's stuttering kind of off the start. So uh, we're just gonna keep doing it, but there's definitely, sometimes it's really stuttery, other times it's not so bad. Need to check my wiring and all that, see if everything's connected good, but kind of strange. Well, this is why I thought I was losing rear power. I just picked it up to look at it right before this run and see what was going on. And I think my wheel was just backing off. Reminds me of that USTE when I was running there and uh, I had three wheel drive because basically I'd lost one of my pins here or it had come off enough that uh, the wheel nut was backed off enough that it wasn't driving. And so it was slipping causing like a, a three wheel driver front pull making everything want to go to the front. So anyway, all I have to do is put this back on. It's got the freestyle insert in it and uh, should be back in business. This thing is awesome. Four steer running reef raws on it, which is total overkill. But I went with the anodized aluminum axles, which is not scale, but I just love the look of it. So I put the reefs on top to complete that chromed out look. All right, so I think I need a... Uh, a BEC on this. I think I'm just browning out is what I'm doing and that's why it's stuttering. So I need a little bit of a roll at the start to kind of get into it. Oh, not loving that for the body.
Not the right type of ramps to grease, I guess. Now I seem to have a little bit more pep. There it was. Clean, not the fastest, because I had to slow down the start to try and grease it. I feel like I just need that little bit of roll. There was a nice clean run. <laughs> oh, I need a new body from JB Steel Graphics soon. Love the four steer on this one. That looked good. Let me get the Velcro lined up. All right, here we go. Velcro's pride. Because they're not really dropping out. It's definitely flapping too. But I need some oil in there. Need more need fresh oil. It's a good looking truck. Oh. oh yeah, there it is. Now we're talking. Just running a lot better with that fresh battery. We're steering in. I need a little run because if I get that stutter, I need a little. It doesn't stutter if I can go smooth up. I feel like it, having the two reefs raws on here and not a BEC, there's a lot of power draw going. So I should be able to spread these jumps a little more if I want to grease them now. I think I can still make that, you think? As long as it doesn't do that stutter problem. <laughs> Still got it. I might be able to start even right at the base here. Now I got a fresh pack in. Oh, that was it right there. Saved it too at the end. Oh, baby. Bent the link even. Huh. Oh, an upper link came out wow okay that's it <laughs> all right we're done that was fun that was the biggest batch this thing has gotten yet and uh well we lost the upper link here didn't realize it so i gotta find a new uh screw for that and we actually bent this one too maybe this one 
I think when we were slamming on the ramps, there were times where we didn't have enough power to get up and over. So uh, a little bit of carnage, but not too bad. Had fun with that little challenge there, Bari. Got some road rash up on the top. Overall, though, the chassis looks great. Just glad it's not muddy. Anthony told me about the, the breakage. Now we're finally velcroed on there good. And these actually provided some protection. All right, guys, here's a quick look at it after that bash. No real damage to the chassis itself. There's a little road rash up on this bar, but these uh, act almost like skid plates when the body comes off, the Velcro on the top here. I should probably do the front. Luckily, I did not tear up the front or even the rear with some of those little issues that I had. Everything looks really good on it. Still looks to be pretty brand new looking. Look around it here on this side. Maybe a little rash on it on this spot here. Something there. Oh, looks so good still though, guys. Put a little bit of oil on the suspension so it would drop out more because it was hanging up. So I just used a little three-in-one oil instead of taking them apart and put it on the, the shaft itself so it would give a little spring. I did notice that I bent this upper uh, sway bar rod going through here, hitting on the servo down below. So that's something to notice. If you do force gear with these, it does actually hit when it compresses onto that servo. And yeah, I was hitting right on that servo arm and it bent it a little. So probably better off not doing four steer for that sake, but it's too cool with it. <laughs> so we're gonna leave it that way. It's an awesome fun rig to run. It has more speed than it actually should, um, but I'm okay with that. It's not too much, it's not overpowered, especially keeping it on 2S like it is. So it's a definitely a shelf queen show truck that, uh, well, any, any shelf queen show truck still gets bashed around here. So um, that's just the brakes. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. Bari, thanks for uh, calling us out, asking us to do the dropout challenge. Finally got a little bit more dropout with this thing. Uh, thanks to my son, Anthony, for helping me film it. And uh, I'm gonna be getting some new parts from Freestyle RC for this thing, some new links probably. Uh, luckily, I know a guy and I'm gonna be heading down there or over there soon. So maybe I'll just pick him up from the shop. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, have fun RCing. Catch you next time. That's right.